Quick tip, when it's dirty, heavy, strong rain, like it is outside right now in my country today, I want you to go out into the rain and just soak in it. Just go into the same thing that you're so resistant to. You know, because heavy rain, everybody's resist, almost everybody is resistant to heavy rain. They're like, oh, you know, I don't want to get wet. Oh, I hate it. So try, you know, once in a while to actually specifically decide to go out and get soaking wet. Get as wet as physically possible and see what happens as that resistance, that thing that you hate so much that you try to avoid, where you kind of embrace it now and you actually go towards it. And we'll give you a cool lesson in life where everything, everything that you try to avoid usually comes back to hunt you and everything that you purposely try to go to, it usually just disappears. Uh, you can actually read a lot more about that in Man Searches for Meaning, a book by Viktor Frankl, and he calls it paradoxical intention. He says, for example, that somebody who has a problem uh, speaking correctly, he's like, bah, 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 and um, uh, he uh, doesn't want to do that anymore. But when he tries to do that, like for example, he wants to get you know some uh, money for that, so the officer stands and he checks him, and he wants to you know try to do that intentionally. So he's trying to do that, and now he's actually speaking normal, because when you try to do the thing that you resist, it actually disappears. You know the resistance; it, it's what actually keeps it there. It's called paradoxical intention. Read about it either in the book again, "Man Searches for Meaning" by Dr. Viktor Frankl. Or you can just search the term paradoxical intention and you're going to find information about it. So go do that. Go get in the rain if it's raining right now. If not, just go do something that you resist. Take a cold shower or something. Awesome. Thank you.